Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate pricing list food menu widget. In this widget, you have three main options. There is a classic style. This one is the classic style. Then there is the simple style, modern style. And there is a simple style, which works like a flick box. Flick box. Now let's start with the classic style. In the classic style, you just need to select the title. Then you have the tabs. Right, which will be available about the title, which will look like this. So you can adjust the colors, font, and everything, and then it will look like this. So these are the tags. Then you have the option for the price, which is available here. Then you have the description option, which you can put from this or this area. Let's remove that for now. Then you have the option for the image. If you want to put the image, then you have the option to make it circle, round, or the none. So these are the options for the classic. Then you have the title styling option in which you have the typography, title color, background type, in which you can select the normal color or the gradient color. Then you have the padding options, you have the border. In the border, you can select the solid or any other border. Then you have the option for the border width, border radius, and the border color. Then you have the line style. You can select any kind of line. You can select the dotted, dashed, or whatever. Then you have the line width, line color. You have the tag styles in which you have option for the typography, tag space, tag color, background type, border radius, padding. You can select all those options. Let's see. For example, let's increase the space. So it will the increase the space between two tags. Right. Then you have the tag color option, which you can adjust from here. Then you have the background color, which you can set for the gradient as well. Then you have the border radius. Then you have the padding options. After that, you have the price styling, in which you have the typography options. You can select the typography. You have the price color option. Let's get back to the white. Then you have the background option, border radius, padding options available. In the description, you have the typography option, the description color option. You have the background color type, background color. You have the border radius, padding. Then you have the image style option. If you have selected image, it will visible at here. I will show you the demo for the image styles at the bottom. Then you have the box head option, which you can select from this for the image. And in advance, you have the plus extra, so you can use any of these options. So this will this was for the modern. Then this one is for the simple, in which you have the option for all the things in which you have front and back background color options and the styling options will be same just you need to select the box alignment which you where you want the box to be so you have all the options you can select from them so these are the options for the pricing list Thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites. See you soon.